What's up everyone, welcome back to Eleanor part 20 And here we go, we were going to go to the bowling Can you drive to this one? And see what we, we have there, I don't know We have a name, as you can rem remember, Tiernan, but Don't really know what's gonna happen, you know We don't even know him That's just so dumb that We don't even have a name, but you know Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, why did we come to the central police department? What the fuck? Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. I'm alright, I, I thought we were going to go. Okay, I'm just gonna follow them. Captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker. Okay. And Carruthers. Alright. Okay. This guy must have escaped the loony bin. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? One another common day. Hey, what's up? What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers. Cartel Classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? Are you sure you want to know, Ray? Man, I don't know what's up as with those murders. Sure, I mean, we had TV. solid evidences. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, though. You're married, so yours is mortgage. Some of us <laughs> are paid by installments. This guy That is just so true. Pay at all. Sorry. Okay. Why are you so Sorry. angry, Mal? But that was true. All right. I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a what I was saying, um, God knows what he might have been Maybe thinking. some guy the behind all of these murders, you know? But like the one how we, we see on newspapers in this game. The um, so called professor. I want daily reports. I don't know. Because we had solid evidence on all of these cases and, you know, we managed to charge the suspects. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. Okay. We need to get an address hey, for I McCaffrey. Are we gonna... Yeah, we are going to call. Why are we using the phone? I mean, we are in the central police department. We can just Operator, roll, ask it. Alright. Not gonna comment on that, that's out. weird. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. It is so actually weird to you? see, you know, we have not really processed in the case in yet. So we don't, we, we have like three oh, people. Well, um, and I don't have a single clue what's gonna happen in this episode, to be honest. Between Ord and Alpine. Thank you. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go first to the um, bowling hall, you know. Mouthpiece first stripped off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now you know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Oh no 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 no. Bowling alley, baby. Let's drive. Let me pose a question. Pens. What you got to do with? It? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slam river found out. Anyway, let's skip. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? We're conducting an investigation, ma'am. Do you know the name Evelyn Summers? Sounds like I should. Oh, maybe it could be Jimmy's friend. Jimmy? Who the hell is Jimmy? Jimmy. He's a pin set. 
one day he introduced me to a lady after work. It stuck in my mind because she was much older, too old for him. Where can we find Jimmy Florence? He'll be hopping around the lanes. So, thanks, ma'am. The murdered lady Still was. Kidding. Oh. Bro, why is she running away from me, man? God damn it, Tiernan. Tiernan! LAPD! Let's see what's gonna happen. There! Oh damn, that's that's a nice car. I'm, I'm alright, I'm driving. God damn it. What are you waiting for? Get after him! We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast living individual with money to burn. Or a middle-aged individual oh, with the need to feel fucked up. Come on, Phelps, you're losing that little weasel. No. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not airtight. Fucking idiot. This isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless. Bro, and this car is a wall and saves us all the trouble. This car is just undrivable, I mean. He's going through the square. I hope the people see him in time to get out of the way. Joy ride is over, kid. What if they run because someone's setting them up? Because they feel like the deck is stacked against them. And don't make up ridiculous stories for them, detective. Back to the imagination. I'll try to shoot Are you gonna shoot? Wish me luck. Oh, looks like we're going into the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. All right, as long as he doesn't kill us, I'm okay with it. Else, you gotta get me closer. That's the end of that. About fucking time. We got him, god damn it. Freaking finally. Show me your hands. So yeah, that was me just driving. I apologize for that disturbing driving because I suck at this game still. But you know, there is nothing to do because I cannot drive in this game. And then what? So I think we should go to the uh, McAfee's apartment. So we got, um, you know, the Jimmy guy in the uh, police station. That's one thing. And maybe we now. can find McCaffrey in his apartment and then we both going to interrogate them between them probably. Because we don't really know much about James, um, you know. Let's see. Oh, we forgot. Where is McCaffrey? Six. Is in apartment six. Six. Where is six? Is it six? Is it? It's three. It's four. So it must be upstairs. You know, I'm genius. I am a genius. Where is six? All right, it's on the left. Hey, what's up? Can we just go in? That's what I'm talking about. What do we have? Oh, we have nothing here. That's weird. Oh, what's that one? No. God damn it, McCaffrey. Oh, how am I going to see it? He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. 
Okay. See Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you? What the hell are you? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Okay. Surely we can ride him up to that. A what citation, about, what about the... Yeah. So, okay, we can't do anything about it. All right. Anything. What is this one? Oh, the... L the rest of the letter we found on her, you know? Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Ah, okay, yeah. That's correct. What's this one? This isn't what we're looking for. Okay. Sorry, Phelps. Okay, I think we're done. We need to go upstairs. Where did this lady go? Yeah. How can we get upstairs? From here? Why are you smoking inside? That's that must be forbidden. But you know it's late hundred nineteen forties, so it, it won't be. Alright, so Oh, here you are, little piece of pigeon. Grosvenor McCaffrey! Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit down and we'll oh. talk. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Come on, Phelps. Let's go. Where is he running? Bro, I'm too bad at this game at, you know, chasing people. Whether it's in a car or just, you know, on food. I'm just too bad. You a runner, McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight. Be careful, you look dangerous. Okay, I'm doing my best, little lady. Thank you. Hurry, you can still catch him. Yeah, I know. Give it up, LAPD. How do I jump? I forgot how do I jump. Okay, the, I, I don't know. I, I somehow did it. All right. Can we just shoot this? Oh, tackle him! Yes! You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Okay. Oh, damn. Fabs was very fast at putting handcuffs on that guy, alright? Not gonna lie. Need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. Okay, Got let's go to downtown and wrap these things up. Tyranin set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Nah. Jameson must be. You know, he must be you know McCaffrey didn't do the dog? clean on this one. We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive... You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want the confession from one of them. Okay, so let's talk to Tiernan Don't first, him. because we have not talked him. Maybe... He'll give us something to be used against uh, McCaffrey, you know? But Tiernan is one, he said, as far as I remember, right? Where is he? Where is he? Yes. Hey, what's up, you little shit? Why did you run, Tiernan? Yeah, to start with that one. I to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Okay, so we have a lot of questions. So he's 24, so the old lady in the bowling alley was actually right. So he, he was talking about Evelyn when she was uh, saying, like, no, she was older than James Tiernan. Can so. you describe your relationship with Evelyn? 
I, I barely knew Evelyn. You're fucking lying. What do we have against him? Um. Yeah. We can definitely say he's lying and use that one. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Uh, last scene. McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night, we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. Um, I think I'm gonna go dub this one, you know. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Yeah, why is McCaffrey's he... been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute, but you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. All right, why is this guy excited too much? You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. What do we have against him? Do we have anything, I mean? Um... Oh, well, maybe we can use this one, right? Let's use this one. You're lying, Tiernan. You've been fighting with her. You fought and- I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! Piece of shit. You're lying. And I'm just gonna- She left, but she came back. Yes. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make Guys, I'm, you. you know, getting she used to that shit, court. man. I am trouble, slowly becoming the me. best detective in the whole entire world. Care for me. Boy. She would never stop talking about McCaffrey. <laughs> McCaffrey was a writer. McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. Bro, why is this guy giving me stupid answers, man? Not positive, not negative, but, you know, Do you I don't know. A car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Um, from his movement, he's not telling the truth entirely, but I'm not sure if we have anything to use against him. We have the tire iron, which is written on uh, stained with blood, but I don't know. I'm just, I, I think, going to use intuition in this one. As the community. Oh, okay, they adopt this one. The coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. Oh. He can be very cruel. So he actually threatened Evelyn. Okay, um, I'm just gonna leave the interrogation. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're gonna talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. So what did he actually give us? I mean, he told that he, um, McCaffrey actually threatened Evelyn when he found out she stole the book, but I don't know, nothing more I think.
You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? Yes, People you who have. The police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Last night, um... But we found... The, um... Torn letter, you know? Yes, so I think he's lying on that one as well. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Because you have the town letter, bro. How about half of Augusta Summer's last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. Why does he keep lying? So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, boy. If I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? Actually, he's um, telling the truth, but um, do we have anything on this one? We have Tiernan's accusation on what? Threats of violence against victim. Okay, I think we sh should use this one. I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Yeah. Tiernan's accusations. Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. Oh, you expect me to buy that's that. weird. Okay. That's how it went down. So we need to actually ask some made a more mistake, questions, Tiernan, that, his right life now. Away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. Why would you even do that? He's he's probably lying. I mean, why would he do it? Well, this day was a I think we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Uh, we have a telephone. Why do we have a telephone sign? Can we use it? Okay. Random ass telephone. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. What do you mean, jacket? McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Petty theft? Okay. During training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Assault on a local woman, alright. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, we have the McCaffrey's criminal record. Now we are going to talk to um, Tiernan. And uh, where was Tiernan? He was here, right? Okay. And ask about the accusation. You spoken to McCaffrey? I can go. It's all been cleared up. Not quite. Not we quite. Have one more question we need to ask, James. Bro, this is so fun so far, man. Go ahead. It has been a great episode. Okay. So Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning, very hungover. I thought Evelyn would have come back. Lion. Liar. I know you're lying. You're James. lying. You went out looking for her. Tell what? me what really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? But why is he so panicked? I don't get it, man. Because of the accusation. Accusation? No. Um, yes. You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. 
It's time to tell me what really happened. All right, I think he's gonna tell us what happened. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning, and he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box. And and what? He said I came in with him last night. And said that I killed Evelyn. Bro, that's so and weird. What the fuck? Radio. And he would protect me. And I don't know, detective, for the life of me, I can't remember a goddamn thing. And I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. Oh, man. What a... Me? I don't know. Um, I think I'm not going to charge him right away. We have to ask, you know... His Wait criminal here. record to um, the other guy, and then we are going to make our decision. Brother, brother. Okay, that's hell of a case, huh? Probably the last interrogation. Okay, give me some answers, goddammit. You were in the war? Yes, I was. So definitely, it's gonna be a lie, and we are going to use that evidence. It changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? No, we know he did. He did. You're Harassment on Catholic. local woman. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a yes. couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Okay, going down. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. Okay, she Phelps is going hard. Whore. Oh. She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have okay. fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole okay. from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? Okay, I think How we found. How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book, and she got what was coming to her. Okay, I think I'm just charging him right now. I'm sorry. Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. Man, oh, what God. a case that was. Damn. Okay. I think we did this correct one. Congratulations, boys! You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot, Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard. Okay. That was a nice episode so far. And it has been a long one too. Okay, so thank you very much for watching it up to here, guys. Uh, I really appreciate your views. Uh, you know, I'm I'm just so happy. And this episode was just incredibly fun, and we actually, you know, found uh, almost everything. Yeah, we found all the clues, and questions are all correct. So, you know, it was so fun. And thank you very much for watching. It's up to here. And I'll see you guys in episode 21. Goodbye.